Hello. Welcome to this multiple choice quiz. It's time to test your learner's knowledge. Without further delay, let's get started. First question and you're on the clock. To enter the shop floor what PP is required? The correct answer is C. Question number two. While leak testing a weld you should let the dies set for a minimum of how long? B is the correct answer. Question number three. What personal protective equipment do you need when grinding? The correct answer is B. Question 4. What are the proper gloves to operate the pipe threader? The correct answer is C. Cut Level 7 Gloves. Everyone can access SDS sheets at any MES station on shop floor. True or false? This is true. You are required to wear a welding helmet when tack welding. Select the best answer. The answer is true. You must wear a welding helmet or proper welding glasses when tack welding. It does not matter how long you are tack welding. What is the right shielding gas for welding mild steel? The correct answer is 90 out of 10. When test welding to dial in a welder you notice that there is too much spatter. What should you do first to eliminate the spatter? You should adjust your wire speed down. While doing a downhill weld on inside corner of tank, what is best way to tell if you got enough penetration? You want to look for gray lines on each side of your weld. Which welding rod should be used to weld a stainless steel coupler to a stainless tank?
316 is the correct answer. When should you log into Epicur at MES station? You should log into Epicur not later than 15 minutes after you clock in for the shift. When do you clock out of Epicur at MES station? You clock out of Epicur at an MES station no later than 15 minutes before the shift end. When leak testing, what is the minimum time for how long should you let the die set for? Twenty minutes is the correct choice. What is the correct drill bit for 10-30-second hole? Five sixty-fourths is the correct answer on screen. What is the correct drip bit used to drill and tap a quarter inch dash 20 hole? Thirteen sixty fourths is the correct answer on screen. How often should quality control checklist be updated? Once after each quality check is the correct answer. At GenFab anyone can drive a forklift. Pick the best answer. This is false. Anyone who has been trained and certified to include a hands-on certification course can use a forklift. While using the overhead crane, what should you do? B is correct. You must do all of these things to operate a crane safely. You should wear leather gloves while operating a drill press. True or false? This is true.
You notice the horizontal band saw has a broken blade. What is the first thing you should do? Always de-energize equipment before working on it. Unplug the saw to do this. At GenFab anyone can stop work if a safety concern exists. Select the best answer. This is true. Safety is our top priority. If we cannot do a task safely or you feel unsure and anxious that it is safe then you are allowed to stop work and get assistance from a leader.